You ever get so bored you just start working? Well, my wife and kid left me home alone today, so with the power of boredom and silver bullets, I went ahead and built five new stock scanners that you can access for free on Finviz. And in today's video, we're gonna go over them. So grab yourself a cold one and let's go. Here's a preview of the scanners we're going to be looking at today, starting at the growth stocks one and working our way down. This is from my website. Of course, you won't need to sign up to access any of these scanners as I'll be giving them to you for free on today's video. But if you are interested in any scanners, custom indicators, custom watch list columns, or anything of that sort, as always, check out my website, daytradingstrategies.net. Link in the description down below. Scanner number one, growth stocks with strong earnings momentum. Now, Finviz is really cool. Whenever you create a scanner on their website, you get a custom URL built for the filters that you selected. So all I need to do from my site is click on this and it takes me directly to the link. If you don't know what Finviz is, as for mentioned, this is just a website, obviously meaning anybody can access it. And I think there is like a premium version, but I don't, ha I don't even have an account. I'm not even logged in right now and I'm able to access their screeners and obviously set up and create everything we're gonna be going over today. So finviz.com forward slash screeners. I'll link that in the description down below so that you can easily access it and build these scanners yourself. So this one, uh, what were we looking at? Oh, this one is a strong growth stock. So I set up EPS growth this year, over 20%. EPS growth next year, over 20%. Sales growth over the last five years, over 15%. Return on equity over 15% and a net profit margin over 10%. So this is a very fundamental heavy scanner. We are finding stocks that have very strong backend numbers and predicted numbers moving forward with the EPS growth next year, right? Returning these stocks, of course, uh, down here we see number one is NVIDIA. We've got NU CMG for Chipotle. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these stocks. Of course, you all know NVIDIA. Just a ridiculous move, a ridiculous growth stock. And as you can tell from the scanner, from it being returned on the scanner, it is very strong fundamentally. Uh, another one on the list was NU. This stock has gone from, where is January 2024? From about $8.20 to $13.00 already this year. The next one on the list, Chipotle, has gone from uh, roughly $45 up and nearly touching $70 this year. So these are very strong, very fundamentally strong stocks. That's the point of this scanner. And I should mention, this will be true for all future scanners as well. The way I sort them is by this volume column over here. So NVIDIA is only number one on this scanner because it trades the most volume. I do that because if I go to page two here, oh, I'm, I'm getting ads because I'm on the free version of Finviz. If I go to page two here, a, a lot of scanners will return stocks that basically hardly trade. And no matter how good those stocks are, you really don't want to be trading them. So I'm gonna sort all of my scanners by volume that we're talking about today. But that's the uh, strong growth stock. What did I call it? Growth stocks with strong earnings momentum scanner. Let's move down to the value stock scan. Value stocks, and we'll move a little bit faster now as I feel like I don't need to explain everything. Click on the link. We're looking at low ratios for value stocks, right? So using the PE, less than 15. Forward price to earnings, less than 15. The PEG, the price to earnings over expected five-year growth, under one. The price to book, under two. And for this scanner, the way I'm deciding what is a solid company in terms of, hey, I mean, there's a lot of cheap companies out there, right? But the way that I'm going to determine what is cheap and a good enough company for you to look at, obviously, potentially doing some further research in. As always, you should never just run a scanner like this and go, 
I'm going to buy this stock because it's on this scanner. Of course not. But any stock that pops up on this scanner may be a decent cheap stock if it pays a dividend yield over 2%. In my mind, that means that a company is solid. A company has enough free capital that they can afford to give some away to their investors to make their investors happier, to make their company more appealing to invest in, to back up their own market cap for future growth, future buyouts, future thousands of other potential that companies can uh, utilize their market cap. But that's how I'm defining here in this scan what is, once again, not only just a cheap stock, because finding cheap stocks is easy. There's a lot, thousands of cheap stocks in the market, but most of them suck. Most of them are cheap for a reason. So you want to make sure you are, are looking for also solid companies and we're using dividend yield to do that. Are once again, sorted by volume. Top three stocks here, Bank of America, iTub, and BBD. So it looks like we've got a uh, USA, obviously, Bank Bank of America, USA, and then two Brazilian companies, which is interesting. We do get another USA company here with energy transfer at ET. But if we hop on over, let's look at Bank of America actually having a really nice bounce back. I think banks have been uh, pretty strong this year after the uh, sort of banking turmoil that went on during 2022 and 2023. Nice little bounce back there. Uh, what else was on the list? I remember iTub. This is, of course, a Brazilian company. Not as strong, but once again, paying a decent dividend and cheap, right? Low on its on its value ratios, your price to earnings, your price to earnings growth, etc. That's the value stock scanner. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is is if this would pop up i don't know why it's not popping up because i'm clicking on the wrong one high dividend yield stocks clicking into the link we see here we are looking for stocks with a dividend yield over four percent so nothing too crazy and i avoided going too crazy high like over eight nine or ten percent on this because in a way, you almost don't want a company to be paying too high of a dividend. If you start to see a company paying an 11, 12% dividend, it most likely means that their stock has dropped so hard while their dividend ratio has remained the same, it's still a bad company and they're eating themselves alive paying too high of a dividend. So we are looking for over 4%. We are looking for an EPS growth, a positive, anything over 0% expected EPS growth. We want those nice, solid, fundamental growing companies. I have a payout ratio set to under 70%. And this is kind of uh, alluding to what I was just talking about in that we want to make sure companies aren't paying out a like more than what they're making. What a payout ratio means and what this means is that what a company is paying, like paying to its investors through dividends is less than 70% of the earnings that the company is making. So we're not, but there's, there's companies out there that literally paid more in dividends than what they earn because the dividend was set up at a time where the company was in better conditions, this, that, and the other. So we want to make sure we avoid those kind of companies with a filter like this. And then I also here set up a debt to equity under 0.5. Once again, just putting in a nice little fundamental factor in there, looking for strong fundamental companies. Scrolling down, once again, sorted by volume, our top stock here, ABEV. Then we have Kraft Heinz and Chevron. If we take a look at these stocks over in Finviz, ABEV actually getting hammered recently. But uh, I say hammered. I mean, it's dropped from in the last six months, seven months, it's dropped from $3 to $2, but obviously paying a decent dividend. Kraft Heinz just you all know Kraft, a very solid dividend paying company, although down pretty hard on the multi-year, been trending sideways now for a while. If you're looking for a nice solid dividend company to pick up, especially on a dip like this, this sort of scanner would return it to you. Then once again, you could take ticker KHC, Kraft Heinz, go do more research and decide whether it's right for your investment portfolio or not. Finally, Chevron, once again, just a nice solid sideways, solid investment 
dividend company. Up multi-year, sideways for now, paying a decent dividend. Solid fundamentals. Another stock you could do some, once again, deeper digging into and decide if it fits your investment portfolio. Next, I made a scanner to look for high insider buying. If you don't know uh, executive level members typically, and sometimes even lower, whatever, but members that are important in a business must publicly state when they buy or sell shares of their own company, obviously to prevent any sort of insider trading, tampering, this, that, and the other. And if they have to publicly state it, of course it can be tracked, of course it can be screened for, that's what this one is set up to do. So just a couple of fundamental things. I want strong EPS growth this year, over 10%. Sales growth the past five years, over 10%. Couple of quick fundamental. These are these are actually fundamentally growing companies as well, not just dying companies that insiders are buying. Right. I've got my insider transactions here set to very positive, the highest it can go, over twenty percent, and then institutional ownership as well, over fifty percent. These are the stocks returned by this list. There's only nine on here. F-W-O-N-K, A-C-R-S, A-C-E-T, et cetera, et cetera. But you can look these up. I mean, for instance, let me look up A-C-E-T Insider Transactions. If I go to the NASDAQ page for A-C-E-T Insider Transactions, you will see over the last three months, there have been seven buys, one sell. Uh, and you can see down here, scrolling down, I mean, the number of shares bought in the last 12 months by insiders, six and a half million, whereas the number of shares sold only 105,000. So a stock like ACET, very high insider buying going on right now. Once again, take that information, find that information from this screener, take it, do further research, decide if it fits your investment portfolio. Last, but certainly not least, actually this one will be my favorite scanner from this video. You know when you're like working, especially on stock market stuff, you're looking for real strong fundamentals, you're digging into the numbers, you're looking at uh, price ratios, looking at debt to equity ratios, price to book, peg, blah, 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 blah. Eventually, you just want to look at some fun stuff. You just want to look at some charts. You just want to look at some momentum in this case. And that's kind of what I did with this scanner. Let's look at, hey, what are strong stocks right now? So I have my market cap here set up to mid from 2 billion to 10 billion. I don't want to be looking at very, very highly expensive stocks as those won't have as much crazy momentum. So set the market cap to mid. You of course can change this or just delete it if you don't care on your own scanner. I have my performance, uh, first performance filter set to up over 20% this quarter. My second performance filter set to up over 50% on the year. And then I have a relative volume over one. So the volume it's currently trading is alongside what it normally trades. Currently growing, people are still currently interested. It is currently actively trading at these very high multiples that it is now trading at on its current huge momentum run. Scrolling down, once again, sorted by volume, HIMS. <laughs> BRFS, CRDO, and RNA. If we go ahead and take a look at HIMS, um, I'm not going to lie, I saw HIMS kind of laugh and I don't remember any of the other ones, but this stock obviously just made a move from less than $12 up over $26. And even on the current pullback to about 20, still obviously strong enough to meet the filters. We got BRFS and CRDO. Let's look at BRFS. This stock just made a move over the last uh, six months from $2 to $4. Very nice. Very nice. And, and a beauty of a scanner like this. Have you seen anybody talking about BRFS? This is a stock that's up 100% on the year. Have you heard of this stock at all? I know I haven't. Maybe some of you are doing better than me, but I haven't. Here's another one. CRDO. I'm not seeing a lot of chatter about CRDO, but in the last month and a half, it has gone up 91% from about $17 to $33. Scanners like this can help you find these stocks. There are there are 
lots and lots of stocks out there that are making huge, giant moves that no one else is talking about. It's not just GameStop and AMC. Everyone got so enamored over the three, four hundred percent moves that GameStop and AMC made. They went so widely popular, couldn't go anywhere. Every time I went to the gym for a month, random people would walk up to me and talk to me about GameStop stock. It was insane. But there are always stocks in the market making moves just that crazy. If you have a scanner like this, you can find them. That's all the scanners for today. As always, you all that make it to the end of my videos, you all are the real ones. You all are the ones most likely to make it in this game. You all are the ones taking your trading education seriously. I always like to give you all a little bit of an extra push because I really want you all to get set up on this systematic trading wave on this following objectified proven statistical strategies and scanners and watch list that have turned me from years of being a break-even trader to now over the last three years having a consistently profitable PL. So on my website, daytradingstrategies.net, if you use coupon code END, you're going to get your first month for only $15. As always, you can cancel your subscription at any time under the My Account tab. So don't feel like you're locked in, but go to daytradingstrategies.net, link at the top of the description down below. Use discount code END for only $15. You're gonna get access to over 50 different trading codes. It's a ridiculous deal. Go check it out now. Hit like on the video if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. Ha ha ha!